How to prevent ingrown armpit hair. Ingrown hairs can happen anywhere hair grows on the body. It occurs when a hair follicle curls beneath the surface of the skin. The area often becomes inflamed and red, causing pain. Ingrown hairs typically appear after shaving. Shaving cuts the shaft of the hair. This unevenness, coupled with the sharpness of the remaining follicle, can make the hair curl back into the skin. Armpits are an especially sensitive area of the body where ingrown hairs are common, but with a little care ingrown hairs in the armpit can be prevented. Preventing ingrown hairs while shaving. Wet your armpit thoroughly before shaving. Wet armpit hair, and wet hair in general, cuts much more easily than dry hair. When the hair is dry, it is much stronger, so when you are shaving dry hair, the razor tugs harder at the hair, causing it to break improperly. It is best to allow your underarms to soak for at least 5 minutes before shaving. It is better to shave more towards the end of your shower or bath so that your armpit hair has had time to absorb the water. Use warm water as opposed to cold or cool water, as this will help to soften the hair follicle and also open up the pore around the follicle so that the hair can be cut closer to the base, too. Choose shaving gel instead of shaving foam. Shaving foams tend to cause underarm dryness, which can lead to irritation and ingrown hairs when shaving. Choose special shaving gels made for those with sensitive skin. They are usually well lubricated. If you have sensitive skin, you might want to choose a more gentle alternative to shaving gel or shaving foam like coconut oil or hair conditioner. Choose a high-quality razor and replace the blades often. Purchase multi-use, changeable razors with at least three blades and a rotating head. Disposable one or two blade razors tug at the skin and wear out quickly. Using an electric razor can prevent ingrown armpit hairs because it does not cut as deeply as disposable razors. Old razor blades are notorious for creating ingrown hairs, so make sure you change your razor often. Shave with the grain. While many might prefer shaving against the grain to achieve more smoothness, shaving with the grain of your hair will cut the hair straight and leave it long enough so it isn't trapped beneath the skin. This can be a little challenging when shaving your armpits, as the hairs may actually be growing in different directions. Do your best to follow the direction of growth as you shave. Don't stretch your skin. Avoid stretching the skin taut when shaving. This will reveal more of the hair from under the skin and cause you to cut the hair too short. Cutting, shaving so close to the skin surface will only increase the likelihood of an ingrown hair. Apply light pressure. Shaving too hard can cut your skin, causing the area to inflame and hairs to be caught under the inflammation. Run your razor over an area only once. Repeated strokes can aggravate the skin. Decrease how frequently you shave. Some people simply have skin that is too sensitive for daily shaving. If you are getting repeated ingrown hairs despite your best efforts, it might be time to start shaving less often. Longer hairs are less sharp at the ends, so they are less likely to curl around and break through the skin to create an ingrown hair. Consider alternative methods of hair removal. One way to stop ingrown armpit hairs is to stop shaving the area entirely. If you're not down to grow out your armpit hair, you can try removing the hair using a different method, such as laser removal or waxing. Laser hair removal is an effective solution to removing armpit hair. Five, after three to seven sessions, the hair removal may even be permanent, which may offset the fact that it's a fairly expensive procedure. Don't let just anyone perform laser hair removal. Check the credentials of the doctor or technician who will be performing the procedure. Six. Though there are at-home waxing kits you might use on your underarms, it's such an awkward spot to try and remove hair you might want to leave it to the professionals. Your hair will have to be a little longer before waxing so that the wax can really grip the hair, usually about one half inch for your first few waxes. 7. The wax will remove the entire hair from the follicle, including the root. Waxing will not completely prevent ingrown hairs, but it may make them less likely to occur. Make sure you continue to gently exfoliate after the procedure.